Salut Survivors, welcome back to Solid Podcast Channel. Today's video is a first look on a brand new game recently released in Early Access. A sandbox multiplayer open world survival crafting game, Myth of Empires. Myth of Empires is released by the developer Angela Games who has so far released only one game previously, in January 2021, a MOBA game named Iron Conflict. So few games yet develop under this firm. In Myth of Empires, you will start in the ancient eastern continent, devoured by the flames of war, and you will have to survive harsh environment, build your home and village, raise and lead your army in large battles and sieges, in order to establish your own empire. Some of these game concepts are very similar to other sandbox open world survival crafting games, such as Life is Feudal or Darkfall. Two games I have enjoyed a lot. It can also be compared to Ark, I guess, but without the dinosaurs, obviously. I have played the initial game tutorial, and this is the first look, short video based on this. A full review of such game should be done after hundreds of hours, since the game has so much to offer. Goal is for you to get a feel of what you can expect from this game, and help you decide if you want to give it a try. I will first tackle what I have felt about this game during my initial tutorial part, then we'll discuss and present about what the game content is. When you start the game, you of course spawn in a relatively peaceful and friendly location on the map. The initial quests are teaching you the basics on how to gather resources, craft tools, make a campfire, and find food to survive. Since it is early access, there is for sure a need for fine tuning, better translations and so on. However, comparing to other similar games with zero tutorials, I think this game did great in helping the players to get started with the game and learn the basic ropes. Also to be noted is that you have a newbie help system, so when you die you will reappear on your dead body and be able to loot all your stuff back, quite useful when you are learning. Graphics-wise, considering this is an MMO with very large map, the game looks really great, with a deep field of view, shining and colorful lightings, and the nature and the environment look alive. The animals can seem quite numerous at first, but once again, since this is an MMO, and in the starting zone for new players, better have too many animals, so there is plenty for everyone rather than queuing for your turn to be able to hunt something. Also about the animals, I felt their reactions to threat as a band was well implemented. If a fox is under attack, it will trigger the nearby other foxes to hunt for you, while if you hunt a deer, the other deers will also be triggered to run away with the one you shot at. The crafting and the recipes is not super obvious at first, but once you got it, the system is simple and has different categories for all the usual types of crafting, from armor to weapons, medicine to food, building construction, and so on and so forth. The combat animation up to this point, I tried the spear, the bow, and the throwing stones. And they were all quite alright, very similar to the Mountain Blade Bannerlord combat system. The user interface can be looking a bit old school to some extent, and we should hope the developers will improve it during the early access period. Beyond this initial feeling during the tutorial, we can see despite just being in early access for two days, the game already seemed to have a lot of content. In this game, you will build hamlets, cities, develop your relationships with diplomacy to grow into an empire. Therefore, a large part of the game is focused on developing a good construction gameplay as well as a solid economic loop. Since everything can be crafted and everything has durability, it would appear at first that the economic side of things has a robust foundation coupled to having already in place farming and animals breeding mechanics. Construction wise, the game has already a lot of possibilities to offer, which makes sense since the players are expected to build entire cities with ramparts. 
The game already starts with mounts in early access, and I look forward to taming my first horse to explore better what the game's 64 square kilometer world has to offer. It appears you can have your own warriors, such as followers, as in uh, Conan Exiles for example, and you can then equip and command them to battle. So far, at the beginning of the game, it seems the grind is very reasonable. Of course, you have to gather resources and so on. However, it does not require you to have us painfully so much resources right off the bat, which is good, in my opinion. All in all, if you enjoy this type of games and you are fine with having patches and game updates during an early access period, then you will likely enjoy this game. I have not yet tried to create a server, or I have not tried to play solo, but it appears, besides joining official server, we can create our own servers. If you find this first look video useful, have any comments, do not hesitate to leave a message in the comment section down below. On this note, let's toast to the like and subscribe buttons, I appreciate very much the support. Thank you for watching, and see you in my next videos. You can follow me on Twitter and check out the community page on the channel. Cheers!